World Star Western Theater, starring America's great Western singers, Boy Willing and the Riders of the Purple Sage, bringing you the music, the stories, and the spirit of the great open spaces. And now, here are the Riders of the Purple Sage. I'm dressing up in style for in a little while. I'm going to ride into town. And every cowboy pal I know will lift his heel and so when payday rolls around. And so I'm feeling fine because there's lots of time until we're all homeward bound. We're working slave with cattle, sweat and swear and battle until payday rolls around. What does a cowboy do when all of his work is through? Just what I'm gonna do now. With money to spend and jingle off into town to mingle with all the friends I allow. I'm dressing up in style for in a little while I'm gonna ride into town. And every cowboy pal I know will lift his heel and so when payday rolls around. And so I'm feeling fine because there's lots of time until we're all homeward bound. To work and play with cattle, weapons, fire and battle, Uncle Payday rolls around. Thank you, friends. I guess nobody in the world is closer to nature than the American cowboy. He feels he's kin to everything around him the clouds, the sun, the trees, even the sagebrush sometimes. They're all a part of the world that's his. And so it wouldn't be a bit out of the ordinary to come up on a group of cowboys sitting around a campfire at night singing a song like this. Whispering Wind. Whispering wind, softly calling, oh, everyone hurry on. Like the sigh of a soul in distress Night time too brings a new As it sings of a loneliness Just like a prayer set adrift in the air Some new words have been added to the American language, but they describe a spirit 
we've always had. Managua, Nicaragua. Managua, Nicaragua is a beautiful town. You buy a hacienda for a few pesos down. You give it to the lady you were trying to win. But her papa doesn't let you come in. Managua, Nicaragua is a heavenly place. You ask the senorita for a little embrace. She answers you, caramba, scramba, bamba, rito. In Managua, Nicaragua, that's no. I have been to many tropic ports. I might include even Brooklyn. If you're ever feeling out of sorts. I'd like to recommend a look in Managua, Nicaragua. What a wonderful spot. The coffee and bananas and the temperature hot. So take a trip and on a ship for sailing away across the aqua to Managua, Nicaragua. Ole, ole, ole. Across the aqua to Managua, Nicaragua. Ole. <laughs> I have been to many tropic ports, I might include even Brooklyn, if you're ever feeling out of sorts, I'd like to recommend a look in Managua, Nicaragua, what a wonderful spot, there's coffee and bananas and the temperature hot, so take a trip and on a ship for sailing away, across the Agua to Managua, Nicaragua, ole, 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 ole. You can read the papers and doubt love. You can hear the neighbors quarrel and declare there never was such a thing. You can see a fellow in a gal on the street and think it's all a phony. But you've got to give it a little consideration when you hear the riders of the Purple Sage saying, That's how much I love you. Now if I had a nickel, I know just what I'd do. I'd spend it all for candy, I'd give it all to you. I'd spend it all for candy, and I'd give it all to you. Cause that's how much I love you, baby. That's how much I love you. Now if you were a picture, I'd hang you on the wall. I'd sit where I could see you. I'd never move at all I said where I could see you And I'd never move at all Cause that's how much I love you, baby That's how much I love you glossy fur I'd take you up and stroke you and I'd listen to you purr I'd take you up and stroke you and I'd listen to you purr cause that's how much I love you baby that's how much I love you now if you were a horse fly and I an old gray mare I'd stand and let you bite me I'd never move a hair and let you bite me and never move a hair Cause that's how much I love you, baby That's how much I love you, baby Well, it's time now for Boy Willing and the Riders of the Purple Sage to describe another of their adventures in the West. This week they've called their story Hannah Morgan's Son. Dry Springs is like many another little town in the West. 300 days a year, the sun shines down. It's hot, dusty, and almost without anything green. Still, though, Dry Springs is an important town to the people who live on nearby ranches. They find it a convenient place to do their buying and selling, to enjoy their social life, and sometimes Dry Springs becomes the place to which they look for protection, for decisions as to what's right and what's wrong. 
Three cheerful vagabonds traveled along the dusty highway leading into dry springs one morning, the riders of the Purple Sage. And they rode with less indifference than was their custom. Indeed, they rode as though they might have a purpose in mind. Boy, you got any idea at all why the sheriff sent for us? Well, I don't know anything more than you do, Al. He just said he wanted us to get to his office as quick as we could. Yeah. Al, there's no cause to worry when the sheriff sends for you. It's when he comes after you, you got to start watching. <laughs> Glad to see you again, Sheriff Compton. Boy, I can't tell you what it meant to find out two fellows were riding through the territory just now. How come, Sheriff? Why, we're right in the midst of a rip-snorting crime wave, getting worse every day. We know who's behind it, too. But they're just too doggone smooth. We can't get the kind of evidence on them that'll stand up in the court of law. That seems kind of peculiar. It is peculiar. Boy, ever hear of a woman named Hannah Morgan? No, don't believe I have. She's the brains behind the doings. Her son, Carl, and maybe a pal or two do the actual work. The fact of the matter is, we almost nabbed the son more than once, but he always slipped out of the trap. Got any idea where this Hannah Morgan and her son hide out? Hide out? They don't hide out at all. Took over the old East place, East of town. Lived there every day of their lives for a whole year. A whole year? And you can't get anything on them? Well, the first six months after they come, everything was quiet. The state to themselves mostly didn't bother nobody. The old woman's kind of... Well, she's a foreigner of some sort... Folks didn't care about associating with her, but the boy would come into town occasionally, dance or something. And about six months ago, the old woman got into a rucus over some supplies she was buying. After that, things began to happen. They still come to town? Not the boy, but the mother does. About every two weeks, she gets her supplies, never talks to anybody, buys her stuff, and gets out. Seems like you ought to be able to get something on them some way. Boy, here's the idea I had. I'd like to have somebody go out to their place and give it the once over. Can't do it myself because they know what I was after. I think I can guess what you're going to suggest, Sheriff. If you boys was to pretend you was looking for work or even in need of a meal, you'd have an excuse and could kind of look around a little, maybe find the evidence we need. We're on our way right now. That's the kind of a job we like. How about you, boys? Sure, sure is. Come boy. on, let's go. I'll do the gabbing, but you, Johnny, and I'll be ready. Okay, all right. Oh, well, howdy, ma'am. You want something? Uh, ma'am, we were wondering if you could use a couple of hands. For work? I got only five acres. I take care of them myself. Oh? Well, I thought maybe... Who sends you here? We just happened to be riding through the country, and, well, it got to be noontime, so we figured... You hungry? Hey? Yes, ma'am, we are. Oh, you come in. All three come in. I find something. I cook good. I like cook. And you be first people who come eat with me since I move here. <laughs> Mrs. Morgan, I just want to say I haven't tasted chicken like that since I was a kid. Me? Oh, that was easy. Oh, anybody cook if she have somebody cook for. Now then, about paying. Pay? You don't pay. You company. My guest. I had no guest for such a long time. No, no, not money. Not that kind of pay, Miss Morgan. Oh? But we know we ain't an awful lot. No worry. I got maybe 20 more chickens. Well, anyway, we want to do something for you. Holy, what's that? Shoot me. Something must be happening in town. Come on, hi, Taylor. Yeah. Plenty of action going on. That looks like a posse coming. There's the sheriff cutting out of the posse. Whoa, whoa. Four women. Hey, must have been a holdup in town. Wonder what woman was the bride's brains behind this one. Probably the minister's daughter. Boy. Boy. Colonel Morgan, the partner, just held up Hawthorne's emporium. Kill George Hawthorne. Sheriff, we got witnesses to identify him. We're on his trail. There's no mistake about it this time. But well, how could Carl Morgan hold up a store? He's working over that... No time for talk. We'll get over and see that nothing happens to Mrs. Morgan. When a bunch of people get convinced of something, right or wrong, there's no telling what they'll do. Come on. <laughs> We gotta take Miss Morgan out of here. Someplace where she'll be safe. Right. Johnny, keep the horses ready. Al, you come with me. Yeah, sure. Oh, you come back so soon. Miss Morgan? You lost my boy's address, maybe. 
Miss Morgan, I don't want you to ask why, but you've got to come with us. Who is you? But what is wrong? Boy, Al! What? Look down the road. The sheriff's body is headed this way. Mrs. Morgan, that's the sheriff and a posse down the road. The store in town was held up. The owner killed. And the people are convinced that you're Carl, did it? Carl? My boy, oh We no. want you to ride with us. We'll see that you're kept safe until this entire thing is straightened out. Boy, look out! Come on, look out! What is... What is... A mob. It's nothing more than a mob. You all right, Johnny? Yeah. They're both in the barn. Hold your fireman. Our barn. Men are all around our barn. Morgan, come on out. The barn's surrounded. We'll get both you and your partner if you don't surrender right now. He said, Morgan, he means my car. They're mistaken. I'm sure they're mistaken. My car is a good boy. He would not hide. This is your last chance, Morgan. Are you coming out? Come on and get me. Any man who takes one step toward us will get a slug of lead. Carl, my car's boy. You've had your chance. Come on and get us. But Carl is a good boy. You may get us eventually. But we'll knock off plenty of you while you're doing it. No! Wait! Wait! Stop shooting! Stay here, Miss Morgan. Someone will be killed. I get caught. I get caught before someone is killed. Call! You'll be hurt. I am coming, Carl. Go back. Stop her, Carl. If you don't, I will. You keep out of this. Stay where you are. We can't fire while she's there. Sheriff will come in and get us. Put your gun down. It's her or us. I'm not going to... Put your gun down or I'll kill you myself. I won't hang to save some old woman. I told you to put down your gun. I had to kill you. You would have killed her. I had to stop you. Put away the gun, Carl. I am here for you. All right, Mama. Come and get me. Give me your hand. I'm sorry, Mama. Mr. Sheriff, you come now. Take him. Take my fat boy. They are all gone? Yes, Miss Morgan. Hurts with my bad boy. Well, we're awfully sorry. Hurts. Now, he will go to jail now? I'm afraid so. Oh, and after that will be the court. That's right. A judge is a very big man, no? A smart man. Usually. Uh, You wait, please. I come right back. Suppose we ought to see what she's up to for her? No, she'll be all right. But she's taking it awful hard, though. She hadn't ought to be left alone. Yes. You, you want to do something for me? You can now. Take this. Well, what is this? It's my ten dollars. The ten dollars I saved. Maybe if you could buy my car a new suit. A new suit? Yes. Do they cost more than ten dollars? I, I I want him to look nice in the court so but he's not ashamed to face the smart man. <laughs> Anything wrong, Al? Johnny? No. Nothing. Not talking much. Uh Boy, it just didn't seem right for you to take that money. Carl didn't deserve no new suit, especially with that $10 there. Boys, here's the way I feel about it. No matter how hard she tries to keep away, Mrs. Morgan is going to visit the courtroom when Carl is tried. And I sort of figured if she saw him in a new suit, well, she'd be able to be proud of his looks, if nothing else. And that might comfort her some. Well, of course she needs all the comfort she can get. As far as the payments on her land is concerned, I kind of reckon we still owe her a little for that dinner. Yep, we do. Figure we are about enough to take care of the payments? Yep. And the difference in what a new suit will cost. Isn't often a fellow has a chance to meet a person who's all heart. The price we paid is a bargain. That's the way I figure it. days of 
the West if a community found itself endangered by an outlaw band and there was no sheriff at hand, it was a common practice for the solid, respectable men of the community to form a vigilante committee. This committee would track down, capture, judge, and administer justice to the outlaws. So effective did they become that the name vigilante became a symbol of law and order. Well, those days are gone. The vigilantes ride no more. Today, a symbol of good bread is the familiar blue gingham wrapper of Weber's bread. Its firm, even texture, golden brown crust, and long-lasting freshness have made it the favorite at thousands of family tables throughout Southern California. Good Weber's bread is well-mixed and well-baked, and its distinctive flavor makes it perfect when toasted, when served with your favorite sandwich filling or with full-course meals. Try Weber's bread, that good bread in the blue gingham wrapper. You'll like it. About this time each week, Four Willing and the riders of the Purple Sage make a point of finding a special place for a truly great song of the West. Today they've chosen one which we know is a favorite of everyone who loves Western music. Cool Water. Cool Water All day I've faced a barren waste Without the taste of water about it for this time, friends. We hope you'll be with us again next week when we come drifting along your way. This is Boy Willing speaking for Al Sloey, Johnny Paul, Gene Walsh, and all of the writers of the Purple Sage saying so long and good luck to all of you. Drifting along, singing a song under From Hollywood, you've heard your all-star Western theater. A V.M. Bear production starring America's great Western singers, Boy Willing and the Riders of the Purple Sage. The script was by Ray Wilson. Direction by Tom Hargis. This is Terry O'Sullivan speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.